Hey guys, my name is Octodoodle, and welcome to episode 1 of How to Make a Crunker Map. This series is going to go over how to make a Crunker Map from start to finish. It's not really going to give you too much of a guide on the real basics of the editor, but it's going to be sort of a follow-through of how to make a Crunker Map following you, the developmental process of a Crunker Map. Anyways, this first episode is on ideas. How to make ideas for your map, you know, concepts, you know, how to come up with, you know, creative things to center your map around. So there are a few key parts to, you know, having, you know, a good idea for a map. So one of the biggest parts of having a great map is looking around, you know, looking at what other people have done, you know, what other people have made, and then you can sort of bring a lot of those together to make your own map. So some good ways to do this is by looking in the concepts channel in MMOK. So if you guys don't know what MMOK is, it's pretty much a Discord server that I made way back um, which pretty much is the map making discord server for Crunker. Everyone can, you know, work together, collaborate on stuff, they can talk together, figure out stuff about maps, test each other's maps, it's a really great community. Anyways, uh, the concept gallery channel in MMOK, which you can join in the description, is a really great way to look at what other people have done, you know, different, you know, concepts and stuff they have made. Like in this case, here we've got someone's made a, a cool roller coaster concept, and then you can scroll around, people have got, you know, different Concepts that ideas that they've already made they've sent photos of you know levels from other games, you know movies scenes it's, it's a really great place to have a look at what other people have done and what other people think would be cool And then you can expand on that yourself, you know take ideas, you know bring them together and make something cool Another great place to get inspiration is a website called artstation.com So artstation is basically where professional, you know 3d and you know video game, you know movie artist all come together and they post uh, their work and you know it's a really great way of looking at some extremely high quality work and you can even sort by what you're looking for. So in this case I've sorted by uh, digital, 3D and environment design. So that gives me a bunch of really interesting, you know, uh, scenes and environments that I can take inspiration from. So this is a pretty cool one here. You know, there are videos on low poly stuff, it's all very interesting. You know, it's just a great way of getting inspiration. Now my third and possibly most important point is just talking with other people in the community. Now, where I spend a lot of my time, you know, when I'm, you know, doing map making and stuff, uh, after, of course, the map editor, is going to map makers of Crunker, MMOK, and just talking to the other guys there. You know, figuring out, you know, what other people have been doing, you know, testing their maps, you know, with them. It's a great way, you know, it's a great way of, you know, figuring out stuff. And sometimes, you know, you're talking with someone and, you know, it's sort of like the concept gallery is obviously one way, but just talking with people is such an integral part of coming up with ideas. After this, we've got playing other people's maps. So if you're gonna make a good map for Crunker, right, you've gotta see what other people have been doing with their maps. So, you know, going into Crunker, playing some customs, it's a great way of coming up with ideas. And then last but not least, in fact, this is one that I like to do the most, is take inspiration from movies, you know, and video games. So the map that we're gonna be covering, you know, the development of in this series, I've actually had a look around, you know, I was like, what things do I really love? And, you know, Half-Life 2. So this map we're doing is going to be following sort of a similar art style and you know stuff from Half-Life 2. So for example we've got this image here. It's just a scene from Half-Life 2. It looks you know pretty cool. I've got the train tracks and that gave me the inspiration. You know it'd be pretty cool? What if we put a train in the map? So in this map we're going to be trying to put a train in it. That is one key part of the map that we're going to be doing and that's our main idea for this map. And then, of course, we're going to be following the grimy, you know, sort of gritty art style of Half-Life 2, which should be pretty amazing. So a thing you can do with this is, you know, collect all your different ideas, all the different images you've come across, you know, and put them into a document or something like that, or send them, you know, in a, in a bunch to, you know, a friend on Discord. Then you've sort of got it all localized, you know, you can talk with other people of ideas you've found. For example, you know, this train idea. So I've been talking with my mod friend, uh, Mr. Needle, who we'll, I'll be collaborating with for the map that we're going to be making in this series. And uh, he sent, you know, we've gone back and forth, he's been like, oh, here's a map I've worked on in the past that he's made that, you know, sort of follows a really also cool sort of gritty, you know, art style. And then, you know, we've sent more pictures, you know, just, you know, textures that he's done, you know, figuring out, you know, sort of our ideas for the map and then figuring out oh, how would actually get the train to move. So, you know, using t uh, triggers and stuff. So really, you know, a big part of this map is going to be the cool ideas at the core. So getting those right at the beginning is, you know, really important. So, um... Anyways, guys, that does do it for the episode. This one's probably going to be the weirdest episode of the series, seeing as, you know, it's just not even doing any mapping. We're just coming up with ideas. 
Um, but it is such an important part of making a map, is actually having a good idea for a map in the first place. Anyways guys, that's it. I'm done now. You can all go off and do whatever you're doing. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!